Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're here with a game called Rot. This game is a psychological horror game about obsession, uh, self rejection, and one more thing that I can't quite come up with right now. But we're gonna play, we're gonna see. There we go. Okay, we're into it. Um, okay, that's a weird painting. <laughs> Open. Oh, shit. I don't know what the fuck I just did. Open. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. It said I had to click left mouse button, but I had to click both of them in order to get in. So I'm not sure what happened there. Um, What is over here? 8th of November, 2018. Dear Emma, things where I am are lonely, or lovely, <laughs> very different two things. It's a lot different living in the city, and it will take some getting used to. The pace of it, the noise, there's so much life here that I didn't know existed just from visiting. As for the apartment interior, design isn't exactly my forte. So most decisions are going through my Xavier friend in the area before they're finalized. They have saved me for myself a few times now. How's the job hunt going? Don't forget that I love you. Justin. Timberlake? Oh my god, can you rock my body? <laughs> Another note. 6th of December 2018. Dear Emma, as you read through this letter, please ensure that your internal voice is extremely nasal and congested, because that is an accurate representation of the offer. I've had a bad cold for a couple of days, and I've forgotten what it's like to be healthy. Please pray for me. This may be my last letter to you. Don't worry about the book. Just focus on your job and being home right now. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> this may be my last letter to you. Are you dying from a cold? Oh no. Poor Justin. I hope you beat the cold, man. This kind of looks like a Minecraft painting. <laughs> it's probably like a real fucking very famous painting and I'm just calling it a Minecraft painting now. Uh, 1st of December, 2018. Dear Justin, I'm sorry that I haven't finished the book that you you lent me yet. I know I said I would have by now, but I've been so busy. I got a job behind a bar at a local pub, and I've been doing extra shifts as much as I can. I'm also doing all my holiday assignments, and helping sort out Christmas presents and decorations. I promise you I'll have it read by January. It's been so hectic. I wish you were at school again. Then I could see you every day. With love, Emma. This is kinda cute. Though this is gonna turn into obsession, self-hatred, and rejection. That was it. That was the third one that I was looking for. Rejection. Hello, Mr. Plushy. How are you doing? Great talking with you. That was a great conversation. Thank you very much. Go. The doors are a little weird. They don't always seem to work for some reason. Uh, did we go in here? No. Ah, but there is a note. 16th November 2018. Dear Justin, please see attached your Christmas gift to be opened no earlier than Christmas morning. Santa didn't tell me what it is, only that you should tell me if A. It isn't the right fit, B. It fits perfectly, C. You really like it. <laughs> if it is the case that on Christmas any of these things are true, then I will relay this information to him. I hope that you're keeping warm and that you're not missing me too much. Lots of love. Emma. Emma and Justin are being too cute right now. I'm sure something terrible and horrible is gonna happen in one of these notes, though. Like, hey, Emma, yeah, you know, just murdered a guy. <laughs> yeah, little old Justin that you used to know, going to prison for the rest of my life. Something like that, or he's gonna die, or she's gonna die. I don't know who we're playing as right now, but something bad is gonna happen. I know it. You know how I know it? Because this is a... Because of this. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck is this? 1st of October, 2018. Dear Emma. I miss you lots. Don't worry about my book. Could you tell me when you're coming to see me next? Love, Justin. Dear Justin, I love you. I am busy. That definitely changed. What is going on with this door? I don't know. Is that supposed to happen with that door? Oh, the FPS is way higher in here. Whoa. Another note. 
September, 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 September. Do you remember the 21st night of September? I sure do. She also seems to uh, fucking remember it. Or Justin, whoever wrote this. I can't wait to hold you. Tell me you can't wait to hold me. Emma, 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 Emma. Oh. So that's where the obsession is coming from. All right, we're getting into a little creepy territory here. What the fuck? What is going on with my house? Is this what? What the fuck? I feel I felt like I wasn't even done with all the. Like we're on different pages. I just, I just, I just feel like I don't know. I just. You don't know what? I don't think I can live in this place with you anymore. The way you've changed it. I just don't think this can be the place I trust to keep me safe when I sleep. Oh. Do you understand? Of course. I feel like all you want to do is look at me and put me in different places. You can live here and that's fine. So we were being like super obsessive anymore. with her. I don't want to change you. Oh man, this voice acting sounds kind of real. Also, are we so small because uh, that voice matches of her is making us feel small? In a way? Is that why we're so tiny? I don't know, the doors are... You're lucky you gave me the kind of pain you can't fake pictures of. When you left, it was like you wanted... To... What does that say? Be taken by someone else. I'm not sure what that other thing said, but... If someone comes in and changes this... Please... I won't know... Who I am anymore. I gotta say, man, you, you're kind of like trying to pour out your heart, but your handwriting is shit. How can you be okay letting someone else crawl around in the space we left in? It was so easy to kick me... To kick... To, to kick you, I think? Kick me? Hesitation... Would... <laughs> I don't... Hesitate... Wounds? Wounds, I think. I hate everyone watching me... Me cry to claw back into the womb. What was the day? What was the... minute you stopped? You were supposed to be the one to help me. Help you with your fucking handwriting! I'm sorry, man. This is like sad and all, and, and I feel bad for you that you're like so obsessed and shit, but... God damn it, work on your handwriting. Bed lamb. Not sure what that means. I'd wish you forget... You'd... I'd wish you'd get sick... So that you'd come back. What, you think she's gonna get a cold and she's gonna come back to you? Well, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it means different kind of sick, but still. You're watching someone die and it doesn't affect you like it does me. Do you think it feels good to go out every night and... And pull you from the... Loam again? I might be doing a terrible job at reading this, but can you guys read this well? I'm having a lot of trouble with this. I never meant to make you... My... What? I never meant to make you my pornography. Oh, wait, is that what she meant by us, like, looking at her in different places? In the house? Like... We just over sexualize her or like Huh? I wasn't done reading where Why'd you pull me out? I wasn't done man But we're packing it seems I think it seems we're going out of here Does that mean we got better? Like with our obsession? I hope so Where do I go? Front door? 
Oh! Oh man, but I'm kinda, I kinda wanted to read all the other stuff too. I feel like I missed like a bunch of things now. Look at this! I haven't, I haven't even seen this fucking area here yet. And we missed a note also here. What did this one say? 24th of November, 2018. Dear Emma, I think that I may need some cooking lessons from someone. I trust. What I once considered room for improvement in the kitchen now seems like arrested development. And I, like Bonnie Tyler, need a hero. I loved making gingerbread with you last Christmas. When you come visit, can we bake something again? One, so I can feel good about myself. And two, because I finally want to eat something tasty that was made in this place. Love, Justin. Alright, so I feel like we might have missed like a few other notes because the progression system is a little weird. It just like pulls you into a different area again. Did we read this one? No, I don't think so. 13th of December 2018. Dear Justin, I hope you have recovered from your cold. It sounded quite serious. You were suffering for two whole days? I only pray you make a full recovery. If you reply to this letter, then I'll know you still have your eyes working. You'd better be all in one piece for when I bring come and see you next. Being back home brings back a lot of memories. If I come and beg for you... If I come and beg for... But the for is crossed out. <laughs> with you... Then you have to come back to where we had our first date again. I think that's fair. Missing you, Emma. Right, okay, I'm gonna go through the game one more time, I guess. And this one we've read. And just try to see if I missed any other notes. And if I did, I'll put it in the video. And if I didn't, it's probably gonna end right here. Another note that we've missed last time. 2018, dear Emma. I find myself wishing you would at least cry. I did so much work getting to the, be a place where I'm happy, and you want me to leave it. It's not even finished. How can you look at this place and see something finished? How can you be so selfish? From Justin. Okay. What about in here? Did we miss a note in here last time? No, it's still- oh! What's going on here? He's in the middle of changing the apartment again. I think I'm moving here now. Why is he changing everything? He can't hold it together in one particular way for very long anymore. It changes more frequently now. I don't know how long I will stay here. Why doesn't he just get rid of you? There used to be more of us here. Now, if she didn't touch us, then we go. They shower together. So, I'm playing as Emma right now. I'm honestly a little confused about the narrative. Like, who I'm playing as right now. Because I thought I was playing as Justin. But maybe not? I don't know. Did we read this one? Yes, we did. Oh, look at that. See, I didn't even see that last time. Ugh. Right, what else is here? There's someone else living here. 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 Woo! The... Well, I'm guessing this thing in here. But what is that? Ah! Ugh. Ugh, disgusting! Like, who are we playing as now? Is this Justin or Emma? I don't know, but I guess that's the game. I, I'm pretty sure I saw everything now. All right, everyone, what well, that was rot. I'm not totally sure if I really understand what was going on. What I got from it is that we were, like, whenever the world was kind of normal, the way we saw it, I felt like we were playing as Justin or not. I don't know. Or were we playing as Justin in the other, in the other one? Because I thought Justin was the one that was changing everything around. But in that world where everything was, like, floating upside down, I'm pretty sure it was Emma talking. I'm not totally sure. I thought it was kind of cool, but I feel like this game needed a little bit more direction. Because sometimes the game would teleport you to another area even though you hadn't read all the letters yet. So I feel like it should teleport you once you've read all the letters maybe. So you don't miss out on important lore and stuff like that. But other than that, I still enjoyed playing this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace.